So here we are, it's another Halloween, another year has gone by. I was gonna do a different video, I was gonna do kind of like a Halloween makeup look, but I've kind of been ill the past couple of weeks and so I didn't feel really up to it. I've got a cold and a sore throat and I keep getting headaches, so I thought I'd do something a little low key, but very Halloween related. There are 30 questions in this tag. It was originally created by Simply Kenna. The YouTuber who I actually got this tag from was Kyla Rebecca and she did a great job at doing it. I haven't seen that many Halloween tags recently or any tags in general and I do agree with Kyla Rebecca that tags are not so common anymore and I do want them to come back because I do enjoy doing them. I just don't do them as much as I want to. So this is me doing the spooky Halloween tag. Enjoy. The first question is favourite horror or Halloween themed song. The first thing that came to my mind would have to be the Harry Potter double double toil and trouble version of the song. I guess it's Halloween themed, it was originally from a Macbeth play and they just changed the words up but I do really like that song and every time Halloween comes around I do find myself singing that song and I love Harry Potter. The second question is name something that you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or abandoned building. I find myself very scared of people that are possessed that don't move. I think that might be a little bit hard to explain, but basically if you've seen the latest It movie, so Pennywise and all that, in the library scene there is an old woman in the background, the librarian I think, and she is, in every shot she's moved and she gets closer and closer to the boy. And the last shot where you think she's going to be standing right behind him, she isn't. I don't know, I just find it really creepy. So if I walked into a dark forest or abandoned building, I find that either an old person or a younger girl, like, with black hair, something like The Grudge, I would really, really get freaked out. I would not want to go anywhere near them or bump into them. Question three is, have you ever played with a Ouija board? And my answer is no. I have watched films with them in and I don't really believe in that kind of thing but I guess if you're trying to access that part of the world then it can only mean bad things. Question 4. Favourite horror monster or villain? And I'm going to have to go with my most recent favourite villain and I think Scarlett knows what I'm going to say but I'm going to have to say Pennywise from It. The latest It film especially, I do love the old ones don't get me wrong but I do love different takes on um, films and books and this take on it was really really good visually and I was creeped out at certain points as I said previously. I don't get easily scared, I just I liked how he had a bit of personality and you kind of felt sorry for him sometimes and then like really scared of him at other times but no I really like Pennywise. Question 5 is the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you whilst you're alone. There have been two occasions and one, one I wasn't exactly alone, I was upstairs alone so there's no one on the top floor of my house um, and I was just moving things from the bathroom into my bedroom because I was going to dye my hair in the bathroom and my mum doesn't like everything getting, well, you wouldn't like hair dye all over the bathroom basically. So I was moving things into my bedroom and there was a pot of Vaseline that I'd placed specifically in the front of my bedroom. Anyway, I went back into my bathroom, I came back and it was at the back of the room. I, know, I just normally put it in one place, all the things from the bathroom in one place and the Vaseline was at the other side of the room. No one is upstairs, no one has walked into my bedroom. So I was kind of like puzzled, I just kind of like brushed it off. I put it back where I wanted it, I walked back into the bathroom to collect something else and as I brought that back into the bedroom, the Vaseline was over the far side of my room again. And that's when I was kind of a bit freaked out. And I was like, okay, this is not happening. I walked back into the bathroom, I came back, and it moved even further back, and I was just, I was, oh, that was it, I'd had it. I'd run downstairs, I was like, mum, I'm really freaked out, like the Vaseline pot keeps moving, and I haven't moved it, I swear down. So yeah, that's one experience. The other one would have to be, when I was little, I used to get scared of the idea of people coming up the stairs in the middle of the night, and I think it got to me so much that one evening our floorboards in the stairs kind of like creak but once several people have walked up the stairs a few hours later, like normally about an hour later 
the stairs will pop back into its original position. Now as a kid, I thought it was someone walking up the stairs coming to kill me. So yeah, but that Vaseline story, that is one that I really got freaked out on. Number six is if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? My answer is not alone. I wouldn't do it on my own. If I did it with anyone, it would have to be my sister because my best friend is just useless. <laughs> she would just be getting me to do everything. I would have to say yes if I was with somebody, but not on my own. No, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Question seven is, are you superstitious? Not really. People used to say I had good luck and I never really thought I had it. I think I have a sixth sense and I was explaining this to my friend the other day. I can tell when something good is gonna happen and as soon as it does, I'm kind of surprised because I don't expect it to, but I feel like something good is gonna happen. And it's kind of weird, it's hard to explain, but um, superstitious in the fact that like a black cat crosses my path or a I walk into a ladder or having umbrellas open up indoors. No, I don't really believe in any of that. It's a difficult one, that one, but yeah, I'm not really that superstitious. Question eight is, do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Not really figures of people, but I have seen a black dog plenty of times in my peripheral vision, in my peripheral vision. Gosh, like I'm struggling with that word now. I've seen a black dog many a times where I think a black dog is just gonna come out of nowhere and I'm looking and it's not, but I still get scared. Like I'm just, I jump back and there's no dog there. It's always a black dog. I don't know why. <laughs> Question nine, which urban legend scares you the most? I don't think I'm really scared of any urban legends. I haven't really heard many, to be honest. I mean, I've heard about Bloody Mary and haunted dolls and vampires and werewolves and all that kind of thing, but I don't really believe in it all, so I guess none. Um, but if someone said, look in a mirror and say Bloody Mary three times, I don't think I would do it because I don't want to see another person in the mirror. Question 10 is, do you prefer gore or thrillers? And that is going to have to be hands down thrillers. I love thrillers. I love things that kind of get my heart pumping and get me a little bit scared, but I don't know, like the adrenaline, whereas gore is just kind of like, it either makes me feel sick to the stomach, like I'm not going to throw up, but I still like watching it. Like I love Saw. I absolutely love Saw. I'm an adrenaline junkie, so thrillers are gonna get me more than gore. Question 11 is, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? And honestly, I do believe that. I do believe that there is other worlds out there. I do believe that there is life out there. And as Kyla Rebecca said, if you've watched her video, there is, I do believe that we're not the only people, you know, this planet is not the only planet with life on it. It would feel quite scary to just be the only planet with life on it because it's just like being alone for your whole life. Don't you think it's a little sad of the planet just being the only one and it doesn't have like another planet with life on it? I mean, there might be aliens, they might look different to us, or they might just be exactly the same. Question 12, have you ever made a potion of some sort? Actually, my sister has made potions. I've helped her make them and she can vouch for me on this one, but it was really cool to watch. So, yeah. Making a potion? I've helped making a potion. Question 13 is, do you get scared easily? And I don't think I do. People go see films and they get really scared. I love watching films for how they've made them, the the visual effects. I am I do videos and I, I studied photography. And so I guess that kind of takes back the scaredness. But as I said, if someone is standing still, looking dead creepy and not moving, then yeah, that does scare me. If someone walks up behind me and makes me jump, it's like 80% out of 100 that I won't be scared. Question 14 is, have you ever played Bloody Mary? I've already mentioned this and the answer is no. I've never played Bloody Mary and I don't think I ever want to. Question 15 is, do you believe in demons and devils? I've been brought up in a religion where there is, you know, two different sides of the coin. If there is good, then there is evil. If there is evil, then there is good. There has to be opposition in all things. On the lines of demons, I don't think there is a demon. I d like, I don't think there is a creature that actually looks terrifying. Question 16, you're home alone and you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? If I'm in bed when I hear these footsteps, there is a high percentage I will just go straight under the duvet and not get out of my bed. 
However, if I'm walking around and I hear footsteps, then I'll run in the opposite direction or out of the house. But then again, I probably, I probably would just to check what it is if there's nothing there. I like to check what it is first and then run off. Question 17 is if you got trapped in one scary movie, which one would it be? Let's go, let's go with it. Spoiler alert, the kids defeat Pennywise in the film, so I would want to be in that film because nobody really dies apart from the first boy, so yeah, let's go with it. I would love to be in the film It. <laughs> Question 18 is if you could wear any Halloween costume for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I haven't really worn that many Halloween costumes. I mean, to be fair, the only ones I have really worn is a witch, a Harry Potter student, Anna from Frozen, which is not really Halloween-y. Actually, no, I would go as my dead Ariel. I loved, I did that two years in a row. I love being dead Ariel, just making her face look really horrible. And I had like flounder um, it wrapped in some mummy, mummy wrapping. And yeah, I walked down the street as dead Ariel. Question 19 is, would you ever go to a graveyard at night? And Yes, I would. I think I have actually been to a graveyard a couple of times at night and I don't really get scared. I kind of feel at peace. I feel the opposite of what you think you would feel like at a graveyard. Question 20 is, in a zombie apocalypse, what is your choice of weapon? I'm gonna have to go with a crossbow. Daryl's crossbow and a motorbike? Yes. Hell freaking yes. If not a crossbow, then a machine gun or a machete. Question 21 is, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? I am gonna have to say trick or treating. I just love walking down the street in a costume that I can wear for the whole evening and just either smiling at people or creeping people out and you get free candy and money sometimes. And I just like seeing everyone else and all the kids um, in their costumes, so I definitely would rather go trick or treating because you can choose when the evening ends and you can go home and snuggle up, watch a movie, a horror movie, and eat all your treats. Question 22, you're in a horror movie, are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? I think I would be the comic relief or the smart one. I always think that if I was ever in a zombie apocalypse, I would survive for quite some time. But if I had my loved ones around me and they got into trouble, I think then I would die. Question 23. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie just before you go to sleep? And my answer to that is, it depends on the film and how scary it was. If I'm watching a horror film downstairs in my living room at night and everyone else is in bed, then I struggle to be able to get out of the living room up to my bedroom without having to watch something happy. But if I'm just in bed, then I will just go to sleep and I don't really have nightmares after watching horrors. In fact, it's normally the opposite. I have a really nice dream and I can sleep well. I know that sounds really weird. Question 24, whilst watching a scary movie, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? For me, it has to be the person who is yelling at the characters. I hate it when I am watching a horror film and they never friggin' put on the lights. They never try the switch. And I'm like, just try the switch. Even if you've tried, I will feel so much better if you've tried the light switch because that would be the first thing I would do when I'm in that kind of dark situation and you hear something in the room. Question 25, are you the one who gets scared or the one doing the scaring? I'm not really a prankster, but I do like the odd scaring people situation coming up behind them kind of thing, so yeah. I think after this video a lot of people are going to come up to me and try and scare me. Please don't. Question 26, what is your favourite scary book? I think I've had this question before. In fact, I'm looking at my bookshelf. I don't really own any. They're all like happy or depressing, sad, lovey-dovey books. No, I can't think of one. I, I don't really have a favourite. If I'm going to pick any, it's going to have to be the shh book that my dad used to read to me when I was a kid. Question 27. How old were you when you saw your very first scary movie? I can think, I remember my very first scary movie in the cinema. I mean, it's not really a horror 
or any, of any sort, it's more of a thriller, but that was I Am Legend at the age of 15. But if I was 15 when I saw I Am Legend, I really liked scary things before that, so I'm gonna have to say about 10, 11, ish i'm not sure to be honest question 28 what was your first halloween costume my first halloween costume would have to be a witch i think my mum my sister and me all just dressed up as witches pretty much the whole time when it came to halloween question 29 what are you going to do for halloween this year normally i go out with my sister and go trick-or-treating but however this year i think i'm just gonna stay home, watch a scary movie and just snuggle up. Question 30, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, what would you pick? The suggestions they have on here is a black cat, owl, a bat, a rat or a wolf. I'm gonna have to go with an owl. I just feel that they're very useful. If not an owl, then a cat. However, I do like dire wolves from the Game of Thrones. Now if they exist, I would have one of those as a pet because they are absolutely adorable and very handy in life or death situations. That is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. If you want to do this tag, go ahead. I tag all of you. Have a great Halloween. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I love you guys and I will see you next video. Bye.